Tonight, a Spokane family has some problems of their own. They're dealing with an unusual case of stalking. They say a 20-year-old New York man saw their daughter's picture on the internet and fell in love with her. Now they say he won't stop sending her threatening text messages saying that he's going to rape her. Last week, he drove 40 hours across the country to Spokane, where he was arrested on Friday. KXY Force Janet O has been following this story for a couple of days. Janet, you actually tracked this guy down today. Yeah, and he admitted he stalked her. He says he fell in love with her, but never meant to harm her. Now, this all started when he saw a picture of her on her brother's MySpace page. In a moment, you'll see our confrontation with 20-year-old Joshua Stetter. We found Joshua Stetter staying at the Econo Lodge in downtown Spokane. It's no secret, this is where he told the girl he would be staying after he made a 40-hour trip from New York to Spokane in this car. And this is where police arrested him Saturday for one felony count of stalking. But he's now out on $10,000 bond. He didn't want to talk on camera, but when we asked him why he told the 15-year-old he would rape her, he didn't have an answer. Instead, he got emotional, and that's where a conversation ended. It's a sordid, one-sided love affair that began more than a year ago. He found her through her brother's MySpace, not through her, and he just took the picture and started Googling. Found out all of our information. Paid lots of money to find out about us. Jerry Garcia is doing all that a mother can to protect her daughter. We have told him for year, um, for the whole year to leave us alone, and he hasn't. He's cost us too much money replacing phone bills, or, you know, the phone numbers, and he's just a nightmare. Garcia says he even managed to get her daughter's cell phone number, sending her several threatening text messages. We talked to him today. He said he didn't mean to harm her. her. Do you believe him? Um, no, not really, because at first he threatened her, and then he was like all psycho in love with her, and then he texted that night again, he got arrested, that how he'd rape her and her little cousin, <laughs> who's six years old. Garcia is now frustrated. Stetter has bonded out of jail and worries when this nightmare will end. She's freaked. She cries. She doesn't want to be by herself. The prosecutor's office is still investigating this case, and I actually called the Econo Lodge, and he did check out this afternoon. And even if he decides to go back to New York, the prosecutor's office says most likely he will need to return for his next court appearance. And we don't know where he was planning on going. Did he say today? Is he going home? Is he going to stay nope, here? not at all. He did not want to say where he was going next. All right, Janet, I'm sure somebody's keeping an eye on him tonight. Thanks so much.